Hello, I'm Rob. And I'm Rob. And this is Ask Rob and Rob. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 35 of Ask Rob and Rob. We're back to answer some more of your questions. We keep this nice and simple. You ask us a question, we answer it and we also make the process of leaving a question very simple too. Yep, make sure you get your question over to us. All you need to do is call 013 808 0035. That is 013 808 0035. Normal rate, leave us a voicemail, job done. If you're too modern for all that telephone nonsense, get onto your laptop instead and go over to the propertyhub.net slash podcast. You'll see a button on there where you can leave us a voicemail via the magic of the internet. Either way, get that question to us. That is what Chris Ryder, the leader of our St. Albans meetup, did recently. Let's hear what Chris had to ask. Hi, Rob and Rob. It's Chris Ryder here from St. Albans, a long-time listener. In fact, I still remember when our American friend Rick introduced the podcast. Um... My question is that there's a lot of discussion and debate uh, in property circles about the value of a coach and or mentor. In fact, I've just started to mentor three less experienced people myself, free of charge, just as a route to put something back. Anyway, my question is, do you use mentors and coaches to propel your property business and personal development forward? And if so, how would you recommend that listeners locate and vet the most appropriate people for their situation? Many thanks and keep up the good work. Bye. Thank you, Chris. Great to hear from you. And congratulations on taking the time to help people and by mentoring them. It's very good of you. I know you've been doing this for quite a while now, and I'm sure they're benefiting from your experience. Great question too about mentors. It's a topic I think that Rob and I can easily get passionate about because there is definitely, definitely benefit in working with someone more experienced than yourself and learning from them, without doubt. Unfortunately, in the property industry, there are people who take advantage of this and advantage of people who want to learn. And sometimes it doesn't always work out for the best interests of the people who are receiving their mentorship. So my first tip would be for anybody looking for a mentor, try the informal approach. Go to networking events like the Property Hub meetups, like Chris runs, and speak to people who attend and try to find people who are a little bit more advanced, a bit further down the line than where you are. So you may have a particular strategy you'd like to implement, and they may be just that bit further along, and you can learn from them. Now, you don't have to shake the hand and go, hi, will you be my mentor? They'll probably get a bit scared. But... If you've built a relationship up with them, you can possibly approach that. But I wouldn't even do that. People in property are very helpful normally. If they're not selling anything, people love to share their knowledge because property investment is not something that a lot of people do. And if you're good at something or you're passionate about something, you're often pretty keen to share that knowledge and share that enthusiasm. Hence the property podcast and everything else we do. We like helping people and we like talking about this a lot. So this has worked out really well for us. But we don't say we're your mentors. People may learn from us on a weekly basis, but we're not formally mentors for anyone. And you don't necessarily formally need a mentor. However, there may be a time and a point where you feel you want to step up your knowledge into more niche or specific areas. And then it's possible it could be a good thing to do. Yeah, I think so. I'm very sceptical of advice that is aimed at complete newcomers because there's so much of it that you can get completely for free so instead of getting someone to tell you all the basics just listen to the podcast or listen to an audiobook you can do it on your commute and kill two birds with one stone there does come a point though when there might be a specific area that would be really helpful for you to know more about when that time comes if there's an inexpensive course you can go on or paying someone for a day of their time then it's probably worth it It is really difficult to know when that point is. I'd say that for the most part, people start paying for advice and guidance too early. It is, of course, possible to pay for it too late and keep struggling on without the knowledge just because you don't want to pay. It's really hard to find out where that balance is. But when it comes to finding that person, I would say that for me, a key thing would be working with someone who is doing it for themselves for a good 80% of what they do. If someone is a full-time property coach, I'd be questioning why, without that knowledge, they're not doing it themselves to some extent. And this is a word of warning. At these meetup groups, not the Property Hub meetup groups I'd like to add, but at a lot of meetup groups, you will have people pitching you their mentorship services. 
avoid them. If a mentor is any good, you will seek them out and get find out about them by reputation, not be sold to. If someone has to sell to you about how good of a mentor they are, they're probably not a very good mentor. Because a good mentor will be that busy with people who want to work with them that they won't even bother selling. They won't even bother telling people they are for mentorship. It will be done by referrals. Now, in business, I have had plenty of informal mentorship, but I have paid for a coach as well. But I was way down the line when this started and I found them and I interviewed them and then I made my decision. They didn't find me, they didn't pitch me. I found out about that person through recommendation. And then when I brought in other advisors into the business, again, it's all been done by recommendation and people who are already very busy. And it's a two-way interview. They're probably going to be want to be interviewing you as well as you interviewing them. And if it's a two-way process, you've probably got more confidence. But beware of the people who are selling their mentorship services at meetup groups and online, because if they are selling mentorship, they're probably not that good. This is a really difficult question to answer because I I think you've heard, we're often quite emphatic about what the right thing to do is, but in this case, it is all about striking a balance. You don't want to go through your life in ignorance because you're too tight to pull your wallet out, but you also don't want to just rush into something. So we can't tell you exactly what's right for you, but I think the main thing to take away from this is how much you can get without paying, about the great mentorship you can receive without the other person even knowing that they're your mentor. And as you've also heard from Chris, who asked the question, it's possible to find people who will do this because they like sharing their knowledge and will do it without any personal gain at all. So no definitive answer, but I hope there's a useful framework in there for determining when it's right to seek out advice and when you're best off just doing it on your own. Rob mentioned Property Hub meetups, and that is a great place to seek out advice. And the really great thing about meetups is the local knowledge that you get, the kind of thing that really is impossible to get across by any other medium, but is so valuable when it comes to your investing. To find out where there is a meetup near you and when the next one is, just go to the propertyhub.net slash meetups. It's completely free. You've got nothing to lose and a whole lot to gain. You certainly have. And you'll have a lot to gain by listening to this Thursday's podcast. I can assure you of that. So we'll be back on Thursday. And of course, we'll be back next week with another Ask Rob and Rob. Thanks to Chris for this week's question. And we look forward to answering possibly your question very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.